Oh, oh, it actually bites back. Yeah, they do, Sherry. Oh, and he throws it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to an exclusive episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2, where I've been giving access to the latest DLC, which is the Early Cretaceous, I think it is. So this uh, DLC adds one, two, three, four dinosaurs, unless I'm missing one, I'm pretty sure it's four, uh, dinosaurs into the game, allowing you to just, you know, spruce up your dinosaur population. But we're gonna focus on uh, all these different new dinosaurs. Um, also as well as, um, I don't know if this is just in the update, like the DLC uh, that you have to buy, or if this is a general life update for Jurassic World Evolution 2, because all I know is I did this update and got these, you know, noticed these differences. So, for instance, if we go into a hatchery and we go, you know, an empty hatchery bay and we synthesize said dinosaur. Now, when you go in a dinosaur, you can click a modify genome. But what comes up now is the skin and pattern thing is completely different. So if you click the skin, it actually now gives you a whole palette instead of, you know, scrolling left and right. You can now go through and you know the specific ones that are available to you and not only that this is the best thing you can click randomize skin color and that isn't just for the batch that's per egg and the same uh, can be applied to that so you can have a random pattern you can have a random skin color per clutch of eggs. So when you release a dinosaur, or release dinosaurs, they're all different. Also another difference, uh, now I don't know whether this is in the update or just something I've noticed, but I am now able to do loads of different buildings that I didn't know existed before. Maybe it's possibly because I just haven't used them, but you got the wildlife thing there, um, and you're able to make an aquatic hatchery. I've never seen it like that, uh, as well as a Jurassic version of the lagoon hatchery, which is that too. So again, like I said, I don't know whether that's always been in the game. I've never noticed, but like I said, since I put this in, I'm able to do that. How about we start with the dinosaurs I'm least excited to see and move our way steadily to the more exciting ones. So, here we go in the hatchery. So, the one I'm, I'm least excited to see, I guess, is... It's 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 a tie. Um, it really depends. I think the least one I'm... The one I'm least excited to see is... Woohorosaurus, or whatever you want to call it. So, we're going to take a quick look at this guy. So, this is a stegosaurid. So, these should all be different colors. And as you can see, they're all coming out in glorious different colors and different patterns. Um, also, I'll show you when you make a dinosaur in the hatchery, it tells you what... Um, cosmetic the egg has as well uh, so you can see whether you maybe you didn't want a certain eggs and you can get rid of them all or what have you but here we go so what I've done is I uh, oh hold on I've also turned off voices oh probably shouldn't have done that oh, 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 hold on is he gonna say it again too much time looking at those plates yes when it comes to the Warhasaurus it pays to keep an eye on this animal stagomizer you don't want to be on the receiving end of a swing of that tail oh it's a cutie, though. Oh, but everything they could have added to the game, I mean, they probably have their own unique animations, which we're probably going to keep an eye out for. Um, I think even in the trailer, it showed what the unique animation was. So what I was interested in was just seeing what they needed, because, you know, depending on what they need, it makes a dinosaur easier to keep or not easier to keep. So they need ground fruit, a fair amount of open space, and ground fiber. So... I mean, what, what are we looking at? If we look at their, uh, their territory so far. Yeah, I mean, it wants open space. So, yeah, I mean, there is a fair amount of them. I love that pattern. Oh, that looks lovely. Nice. Okay, now on to the next one, which is, in fact, the Minmi. So you can get eight of these in a clutch. Uh, that's the max badge. And look, oh, they're so small. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I forgot how small Minmi was. And it, does the top door open as well? Well, they're just so small that I don't get to see it. I think maybe that's Jurassic World uh, hatchery in particular. So these guys all have different patterns and they, 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 fairly, they look fairly similar. Oh, I like that one. The green one's quite nice. So let's have a look at what Minmi it needs. Ground fruit, ground nut, and open space. Australia. What sets this species apart from other members of its family? are the horizontally orientated plates that run along the sides of its backbone. Ooh. Hence the binomial name, Minmai paravertebra. Ooh, we're learning something new every day. So apparently this guy um, does not like Woohoosaurus. So they're probably going to start a fight. Oh, it's biting its tail. Oh, it's adorable. <laughs> oh, so that's its interaction. That's great. 
So they like sauropods, ornithomimus, or ornith ornithomimusaurid, oh god. Um, Ceratopsid, hadrosaurid, and pachycephalosaurid, but it does not like stegosaurid, ankylosaurid, weirdly enough, and Dr. Wu hybrids. And I haven't even checked uh, what this guy is. And it, it does tell you the cosmetic. Now, I feel like it never did. But now they've updated it to do that. I remember trying to find what the cosmetic was, and I, maybe I just couldn't find it. So it does not like Minmi. It likes Comsognathus, Sauropods, Ornithomimosaurids, Hadrosaurids, and Ankylocephalosaurid. <laughs> does not like Carnivores, Ceratopsids, Ankylosaurids, and other Stegosaurids. I do not understand why they just don't like each other. That is so odd. But uh, anyway, well, those are the herbivores. Interestingly enough, we didn't get any carnivores. What? We'll make some Struthiomimus. There we go. We got seven of them. And now, when we look at it at the bottom... Oh, I didn't change it. Okay, they're all Yukon, Yukon River. Ah, well, anyway, there you have it. So we'll discard those, I guess. <laughs> this is their interaction between each other. So rubbing alongside each other, it must have been. Or nuzzling each other's heads. Yes, very cute. So what I wanted to see, as I was saying before I was interrupted by some cuteness, was how these guys get on with... Oh, you know, well, Velociraptor or T-Rex, maybe they share some unique animations. And with this game, you know, that is very likely. So here we go, some random pattern raptors there. Um, now, four is around about the right number they need in order to pack hunt. I think maybe three might be minimum, but four we should definitely get there. Ah, combat frequency was off. Ah, that might be why they're not attacking. Yes, very good, James. Do we have a Minmi being attacked by a Velociraptor? I guess it's really small, so... Yeah, oh, this is interesting. Uh, okay, how's this gonna go? Oh, oh, the raptor sort of clawed at it. Okay, okay. And the Minmi's, oh, it's so weak, no. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, it's got a bite and a half on it, though. <laughs> and another kick, is that gonna kill it? Oh, it's low health now, no. Look at it run. Run away! <laughs> Looks like another Minmi got attacked as well. So small carnivores like raptors can just take them on without much of a problem. Things like Ankylosaur, you need a pack of raptors in order to take down. However, we have these two raptors, I think, hunting this Woohooosaurus. Yes! Oh! oh! Oh, he's actually running away with them on it! Oh, that's interesting! Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh the raptors look like they got injured there, even though... I mean, maybe they're... Oh, God, they're falling off there. This Woohoosaurus is doing literally nothing. <laughs> I think one's dead. Whoa, the, where did that raptor go? Oh, oh my God, there it is. <laughs> Almost got put through the fence. Okay, that raptor got completely clobbered. Oh, 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 no. I think, I think the raptor just died. Yep, raptor dead. Well, there you go. So apparently two raptors can't take on a Woohoosaurus. Well, it had 70 attack and 32 defense and the raptor... Before it, you know, kicked the bucket. 45 and 18 defense. So yeah, it's way stronger. Oh, okay. Well, we'll let those guys fight it out. Now on to the third uh, dinosaur, or if we say reptile, it's been added to the game. That is the Sungopteryx. Oh, well, three seems to be the most we can get for it. Oh no, five. Is it five? Wow, there they go. Woo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> All different patterns. Look at it. I'm Isaac Quinn. Oh god, of course Isaac has to talk about it. Oh, I love the spots on it. That's really cool. Right, what do you need? Water and sand. Okay, so it's a sandy one. It likes its sand. Okay. I'm not sure about you, but I've not seen anything like this before. Have you not? The Sungaripterus. This pterosaur would use its curved jaws like a crowbar, levering shellfish out of the mud before cracking them open with their blunt teeth. That's pretty resourceful, huh? Dislikes Dr. Wu hybrids, probably because it gets eaten by them. Uh, so this, I think, is a Jurassic Park Avery, I think? Uh, there's weird doors as well. I, like I said, I've never seen this before. Um, or was it landing? Oh, it's going to land on a rock. Yes. Now, oh, they're all landed on rocks. Cool. I've never seen them land on rocks either. We're learning so much. So when I, when I go in here, normally I'm used to seeing those three, but there's another one with the tropical rocks you can pick from. I don't know if that's new. Um, and also different sharks as well. Could just be because I've done all the missions and stuff and I've finally unlocked them. Uh, and another thing being ornamental shrubs, which I don't think do much. They're just kind of there to look pretty. Okay, let's release a Tyrannodon. Let's do this first. Let's let's get this out of the way. Let's release a Tyrannodon into the mix. Now, these guys, of course, will not get on, I'm pretty sure, because it has no like dinosaurs, and most of the time, that's the way it goes. Uh, 
although it is saying that it doesn't seem to mind Sun Gopterus. It's not disliking it. So maybe it actually does get on. I'm sure I'm sure they'll probably have a similar fight animation to everything else though. Okay, we'll leave them to kill stuff afterwards. Now onto the one I'm most excited for. That is the Chronosaurus. And I think Frontier might have listened to, uh, you know, people liking the Liplurodon from walking with dinosaurs because that is exactly what this Chronosaur looks like in its default coloring. Um, so let's release. Now, they release in twos. They eat from the shark feeder, which is only what the... Um, the oh, of course, it's a bad release unless they're all like this. Oh, look at you. Ah. Right, we're definitely gonna release more than two. Hell yeah, we need to. Okay, let's have a look okay. at them under Here we the water. Have the Chronosaurus, a predator that once oh. ruled the seas of Colombia and Australia. Now get this, the marine reptile was named after the Titan Kronos, a legendary ruler of Greek mythology's golden age. Pretty cool, right? Right, so let's release a couple more. Hopefully we get, yeah, that's better. That's a better angle. Let's have a look at this one. So. Like I said, you can only make two, which is a bit like Tylosaur, but unlike Tylosaur, these guys eat from the uh, shark feeder. Um, now, I don't know how big Chronosaur was, whether it was one of the biggest like Plurodons out there, or sorry, uh, Pliosaurs. Uh, it possibly could have been. I don't know if these guys have a interaction with each other. <laughs> and we'll release again from a similar point of view. Ooh, this guy's got spots on him. Were all the others blank? Oh, you're pretty. Yes. Now that looks more like the walk with dinosaurs like Pluridon. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, what is this skin coloring? Let's have a look. It's Yukon River with Rana. Okay, so you want Yukon River with not Rana, because I think Rana is like beige. You want Yukon River with the white. And there you go. That's probably going to be the closest you'll get to a walking with dinosaur skin. And to be honest... It's pretty much the same. It looks gorgeous. Chronosaur was, you know, announced or the, the trailer was kind of accidentally put up early and we saw Chronosaur. Um, I was thinking, oh, it's just like a reskinned like Plurodon. It's going to act the same. So I'm really interested to see how this guy compares to Chronosaur because when, uh, you know, the Chronosaur, the trailer was released early, I thought it was just going to be a reskinned, you know, one of these. But apparently it's not. So hold on, let me just uh, turn the voices off. And let's release the Chronosaurs as part of a size comparison. So they, yeah, all right off the bat. Yes, they're like twice the size of them. Yeah, if we look at that, even just from, you know, not seeing them particularly well. Yeah, there's a definite size difference here. So let's keep an eye on the Chronosaur. It doesn't need a shark feeder. It needs fish, but it does also eat from the shark feeder. That is very strange. Okay. But apparently it's okay with Liplurodon. I know that to be a lie though, at this point. Oh, there she comes. Oh God, the lag. I forgot about the lag and boosh down and eats the shark. Um, yum, yum. <laughs> now you are missing fish, but I'm sure you can eat on that, right? Yeah, food is all the way up. The other one is lower, so they do eat the shark, but it's not what they want. Right, let's see this from another view. Oh god, it always does that. <laughs> Whoosh. Oh, the destroyed shark. Um, yum, yum, yum. Oh, they, they, <laughs> they just went completely towards the shoal of fish. Like, yes! You know what? I don't think I've ever seen them eat fish before, so... Yum! There you go. Gorgeous. Oh? Oh? Oh! Oh, a weird glitch! Uh... Oh, God! Okay, well, it killed it pretty quickly. Although, I don't know where it got teleported to. How is this one gonna go? How is it, how is it supposed to go? Oh! It's still broken. Now, that could be... <laughs> because I'm sort of like speeding it up and then slowing it down, and that's what's breaking it? Don't look at me, I have no idea. And, yeah. I don't know what goes on, but then he just gets pinged, pinged across. Okay. Well, we've already got this guy, and he looks like... Oh, 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 wait, wait, where did that go? Oh, God, he's still really glitched. <laughs> You're gonna get him. You're gonna get one, and yum, 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 and the other one, yum, 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 <laughs> and boop. 
Oh, okay, okay. Well, the Chronosaurs are having some sort of issue. Right, let's see. I want to see the Sunsopterus, whatever they're called, hunting human beings. So first, let's release so many of them that they want to break out. Fly, my pretties, fly! While we're running, let's just release some T-Rexes because let's see if Minmi can actually fight a T-Rex or if it just gets eaten in one bite. And uh, if maybe the Woohoosaurus also has its own kind of uh, attack animation for a large carnivore-like T-Rex. What could go wrong, they said. Uh, wait, what? What? <laughs> oh, I was kind of hoping it would have a different animation. It just kind of did the regular, like, battle animation. It was, you know, that small. It could have easily been it in one bite. Look at that. Look at, look at the manners. The, the door's open and he won't go. Now, one thing I'm interested about finding out is if the Mosasaur will hunt the Chronosaur. So let's take a look at this. Now, you are the only one that shares the shark-eating animation. Now, how will you handle something else being in your lagoon? Okay, yeah, they're, they're fairly big size. Yeah, it kind of puts up a little bit of a threat up to Mosasaur. And you know what it is? It's not even bothered. It's not even bothered with the Mosasaur. I mean, sure, it has like a cohabitation issue, but it's not panicking like everything else does. Oh, oh, I just missed it. It killed it. <laughs> Literally two seconds and it killed it. And that didn't look like a glitch because it was the Mosasaur that initiated. So well, let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So here it is. Oh, oh, it actually bites back. Wow. Yeah, they do share you. Oh, and he throws it. Brilliant! There is a, oh, whoa! Whoa, there it goes! <laughs> Sploosh! All the way down to the bottom. Ah, you're suffering from the classic twisted spine syndrome that uh, means you jump out of the water 50 feet. Yes. Oh, we have a we have a Sundopterus now just flying about. Maybe it'll hunt down a homalocephaly. Oh, it is! It is hunting down one end! Pia! Oh! Oh, and it turns round! Oh, brilliant! So it, it killed it a bit similar to how other ones do. Now, Tyrandon sort of latches on and rolls and then attacks it, but the Sundoptera sort of hits it down, circles back, and then makes the kill. Oh, look at that in the meat chunks as well. Beautiful. So it looks like we finally have a break in the Avery. There it is. Oh, I think it's making for somebody. Yes, it is. Here we go. It's going for this guy. He's Stop looking behind you. Run forward, you fool. Now you're done for. Yeah! Oh, it's got his leg! <laughs> Is he alive? Oh, oh, apparently just stretching his leg killed him. Okay, fair enough. But another unique animation. I knew they would add one in. So out of this pack, it really feels like Sundopterus and also the Chronosaur are the ones you kind of want because they have their own unique animations with all other creatures, basically. Okay, another attack. Here it comes from a different angle. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. It barely does anything to the person. It pushes them over, picks them up a little bit, and then drops them. I assume it's like picking them up and then drops them on their head so they break their neck or something. But pretty much, that it, it doesn't really kill them, but it does. It, it, it's a weird one. Wait, what? No. No. Oh, my. Oh, I've never seen this before. A pteranodon can land on the lagoon and eat a dead body? Oh, if only it actually landed on the body. That is so cool. Instead of it weirdly floating there. That's brilliant. But we're going to try one more time to get this Chronosaur animation working. So I'm going to load a different save. Okay, releasing now the proper ones. And hopefully we get to see an animation that isn't glitched. I think it's crossed. <laughs> so here we are with the proper... What's it called? The proper Chronosaur. Yes, look at that. Like walking with dinosaurs, it's beautiful. Or even if you want less, you can just make it black on top. But I think that, that's probably about right, but that is 100% inspired by freaking walking with dinosaurs. It's beautiful. Uh, excuse me? Um, Chronosaur fighting a Chronosaur? I never... Oh, okay, they... I mean... Is it because they're... Oh, God, it almost died as well, but it's still alive. I didn't think they would attack each other. Although the chase has been picked up again, and it really looks like this time that police is not getting away, and it glitches again. Brilliant. <laughs>
But there's one battle that definitely doesn't glitch, and that is the Mosasaurus. So let's release that bad boy. And here we have it, the Mosa taking on the Chronosaur without any glitches. And oh, look at that bite. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then it's sort of, oh no, it survived. Okay, the Mosasaur coming to finish what it started. The poor Chronosaur bleeding away and then bam. There you go. So it jumps around, and then this is a cool bit, the throw. So like, brah, gorgeous. And off it goes. Is it going to spring? No. We go. We're not going to jump out of the water this time. But anyway, guys, so there you have it, guys. Showcase of all the dinosaurs, all the new dinosaurs that are going to be in this DLC, as well as some of the unique behaviors. But I can't find them all. That's up to you to do. So until next time, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.